Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Hussam Uddin. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create an API using Next.js and OpenAI New Assistant API. The first thing that we need to prepare for is the setup. First thing that you will need is the Node.js and I am using the stable version, the LST, L LTS version, the 20 version. And the current one is good, but like it's not stable as an LTS version. So after you install it and get it working, go to the next gs.org and copy this line inside any folder that you want. In the bar above, write cmd, click to open the terminal for you and copy paste this nbx line inside the terminal, hit enter. It will tell you what the name of the project, call it OpenAI or test or whatever what you want. Do you want to use TypeScript? I am not using TypeScript because I don't like it, honestly. Yes, for ESLint, Tailwind, yes. If you want to, to build an interface, just go with it. If you want the CRS, the old CRS directory, just press no. About, yes, that's what I am using, yes. And uh, of course, the default allies is it's the same. It will do it saying download the entire project for you and we just can be after that able to use it. We will keep referring to the API reference of the assistant itself, not the tutorial. But keep in mind, before we start, the assistant currently in beta. So it means like everything that we are talking about might change or it doesn't change at all. So keep in mind, that maybe in a few weeks, this might be outdated in terms of some certain lines of code. So without further to do, let's just dig in inside our code. After it's completely installed, we are done right now. We can start using it. I already have a project that is going on and running, but before we start, you need to install two things. What do you need to install is two things after you install Next.js is OpenAI and .env, creating a new API key. You come to platform.openai.com, you come to the API keys here. I have a couple of ones, but like create a new secret, name it whatever what you want and get it, uh, save it and put it inside our code, the env, I will leave it description so just copy paste your open ai key the first file that we need to look at is the open ai.js this file is the most important file that we have because it's talking directly to the assistant i did the drive principle here so i write it once i don't have to repeat myself i call it from this file it anywhere inside our app and it will be working i started by importing the stuff that we need the open ai and dot uh, nv and I initialize the .env so I can call our OpenAI key inside our env file. And then we started to create. The first thing that I did create is an assistant. As there is a steps that you need to achieve to get to the messaging part and you can talk to the assistant and it will answer you. The first thing that we will need is a functions for creating assistant. And we would get a couple of parameters. The first thing that the name, instruction, and file ID. The file ID is not required to work, but like if you want to upload a file, I'm going to show you how it's done. Also as an API and test it in Postman that like you can upload a file, get the ID, give it to the new assistant and it will be able to read it. I'm going to show you what is going on when it's trying to read it and failing and trying again. It's just one line open the AI dot beta that assistant that create as you notice it's beta so it will change in the future and the take few thing the first name just to know it as a label the second thing in instruction like if you are a math tutor uh, in my case I wanted to create a coach for training and I told them and in your instruction you are a training coach and you have to provide guidance and give examples. And I even uploaded a PDF that have a training workout and knowledge inside it about the training. I gave the tools, the current tools that are available for us, the code interpreter. The DALI 3 is not available yet, but they are working 
on it so be aware there is certain limitation yet existing and the model is a zbt4 the 1106 preview and if i send the file id it will put it inside the file id array you can upload multiple file actually not just one and that's it that you can create an assistant that's it okay how i talking to it here in the abi folder i created there is a folder for everything one for assistant one for uploading data and one for message and one for threads the assistant one just have the root folder a root file that's the normal file for any nexts that we are not using express or backend library we're just using nexts it's a straightforward format data that will get the name and instruction file id check on the name and instruction check if this file id or not existing and append it to the object that we want to send and send it to our uh, function inside of bni and get the response if something went bad it will give us the error so let's see it in action actually i wanted to show you the creation of assistant here in postman as you can see i did send the assistant abi the post request with this data name training coach our instruction is over here i give it the file id that i already uploaded i'm going to show you how it's uploading it's very simple actually using nexus and this is what i get the id i know it just like because this is just a tutorial for showing you how the open assistant work i didn't create database to store these ids you're going to need a database that will store all the data coming from OpenAI, like the IDs of the assistant messages and threads and give me what it's if it's uh, done or not like it's created here object assistant i created when and name and description and you can give it description but i didn't see it needed one instruction model tools in this case i didn't send the file id in the last one but like when you send the file id it will show up here a file id so it, that's it that you can upload and uh, you can create an assistant let's see how you can create thread it's also simple you don't need to pass anything to the creation of thread in open ai here in creating thread just like beta.threads.create that's it no it doesn't need to know about the open ai assistant id in order to make our assistant functional you need to create thread thread is like the chat in chat gpt the new chat button when you create a new thread you create a new chat i don't know why you call it a thread but doesn't matter it's very straightforward you call this abi post function it don't give it anything it will create a new thread and it will return you uh, as you can see here create a thread openai.beta.thread.create you don't have to pass it anything when you create a thread it will return the id you also need to store this id so the next step is of course is creating a message creating a message is a little bit different and you need to pass a few things the first thing that you will need is to the thread id the, the thread id is the chat id for this message and what is the role the role for us is almost always user and the content so it's a post also another post function that you will need to send through the abi like here a thread id the content check on it send it and it will return a response it's very straightforward just turn an api wrapper around it we can see it here create a message i ask it i create already a thread get the thread ask it who is this book author and it send it for us so far so good there is nothing like major about it or difficult but until now you can't actually execute this until you run the assistant itself there is something called assistant run functionality it's what do basically the run the functions for us it's also very simple all you have to do is give uh, the run assistant the assistant id that you want to run whatever chat that you want to to give it to and what instructions you can even give it instructions here in the assistant folder you will find a folder called run 
And inside this run, another root file, and it have one function. It take the thread ID, assistant ID, instruction. Check on it, and also send it to the OpenAI file. Here, run the assistant in the post man, uh, I give it instruction, please address the user as John Doe, which is Jane Doe, and uh, the user have a Bromium account. When I send this, I executing or running both the thread and the, the message inside it and the assistant. So it can start to work and analyze what we send and try to find the information inside it. Right now, we need to access this, we need to access the messages list inside this thread. So there is a functionality called get messages. It doesn't give you one message, it gives you the entire messages inside one thread. It's also very simple, be to the thread messages that list, just pass the thread ID and it will give you the entire messages. It's uh, almost simple as the last one, I'm passing the thread through the search parameters, which is the query, I don't know why you call it here, search parameters, but I am checking on the query if it doesn't exist, send it to the OpenAI, I am getting also a list. I'm gonna analyze this one with you, but before we do anything here, I want to show you a file uploading. It's, I think it's the most important functionality inside the assistant ABI that you can upload any file that you want. Uploading file is super simple. I don't know if you think it's complicated or something, but like it's straightforward for us that one people that using the ABIs in XGS or any GS uh, TypeScript kind of framework. All you have to do is create a function that will take the form data for file and send this file as it is to function called upload file. Take this a file that you already uploaded and send it. I'm sending it through open.files.create. It's not beta functionality. This is, I think it will remain with us. And the purpose is for assistant and the file is the file source that I send it. It also will give us the file ID and it tell us what the file name that we uploaded and the purpose for it. Give you the bytes, the file size and when it's uploaded. Now we take this file ID. We go to our new assistant to create a new assistant and give it the file ID. Then we're gonna create a new thread for this new assistant, basically new chat, get the ID, create a new message, which what did, less, did lead to here. Then after creating messages, we go to run assistant to start executing all the thing that we like did. After it's done, we go to get messages. Here it, the message that I send, who is this book author, here it started to sync the assistant. It's not directly answer me. To determine the author of this book, you have to upload. I will need to inspect the file contents. So it's, it's aware that I uploaded the file, which is really cool. And then it start to doing this. It seems that the file you uploaded does not have extensions that would allow me to directly in, in fire the file type. I uploaded PDF, I don't know why it's saying that, but like it's figure out that's PDF. Then it's open it, it appears that there was an error in extending the code, there's a security environment. Then it gave me like an uh, update. Um, unfortunately, it seems that the magic library, which I intended to use, I defined the file, my type. All this is coming from the assistant because it's using code interpreter, which doing this for us. Then. It did, it did give me finally the answer. The author of this book is, uh, the author of the book that you upload is Michael Matteo. If you need any further information about the book or wish to extend specific, please let me know. I'm happy to assist you. You see, like right now it's dead. Even it's failed at first. Right now it managed to find who is the author and it right now can assist me with any questions that I need. Also, you, one of the cool things that you can do is de deleting the entire chat, like thread. All you need is just pass the thread ID that you want to delete and it will delete it for you. I did also create it and a function for it inside the, here there is a delete functionality. I take the function and take the thread ID, pass it to it and it will delete it for you. 
So if you need to delete a child, there is the functionality for delete. There is also a functionality for deleting an entire assistant with uh, with all the instruction and message and threads inside it. This is like really cool. It gives you a lot of flexibility. If you need to know about more information of the APIs that you can find here, like I found also there is get the list of assistants that we have inside list assistants. This is very cool. Also, I think there is a modification. Yeah, modify assistant after you upload a new assistant and you need to change it. You can actually change it here. And it's really powerful that the amount of modification that you can, uh, the amount of flexibility that we have inside the assistant tool. I think they also that you can delete files, list the files that you have after uh, that, that you upload it. Like here, list all the file from OpenAI and upload this already that we did. Delete a file by ID, retrieve the, the file uh, information, like uh, file ID, the, the size when it's created, the name of it, what's the purpose of it, and get the content also. It give you, I think it's, when you pass it the file ID, it will return the entire file content. I think you can download it from there. I'm gonna leave the link for our oldest ABI reference so you can read it and also can create something with it if you need to. One of the cool things that also OpenAI provide for us is the ability that we can append files to messages or thread without give it, giving the assistant the, this file. So this chat, only chat have this specific file. There is a lot of flexibility inside this assistant API. But uh, as I said, there is certain limitation. I wanted to show it to you. Here in limitation, the current limitation in the beta, uh, it doesn't support the streaming, which means like this appearing of words and letters like stream is not supported yet. It's just one block. When it's done, it gives you the output. There is no notifications for share status update uh, inside the pool. The DAL, the DAL E, the DALI is not supported yet as a tool. We only have the code interpreter, which is really good and support for user message creation with images. Basically, like you can't upload images yet inside the assistant, but this stuff will be coming in weeks and coming months. Hopefully, they will not take a long to create this for us. And that's it. That's it. Like the next step that I will advise you if you wanted to create an next ABI using this, you need a database to store inside it the entire IDs. You will need uh, some sort of, of course, dashboard to get and show the entire files that you have, the entire assistant the messages, the shared. Maybe if you're gonna create it as a server, you need authentication systems and you need to connect which assistant is controlled by which user and like, uh, and make it scale. If you are going for a little bit bigger project, I will recommend that you will not use Next.js as a back and maybe switch for Express. It's the same thing. Use the same folder that uh, the same file that I, Give it to you here, the opening eye. It's a very good start to save you a lot of time. And you can just call all this function from here, whatever what GS functionality that you use, you can handle it, just send it there, do some validation on top of it, like here. And I'm doing validation, just F statement. But like if it's for like Express, Real project, I will be using something like Joy for validation to check on everything and do custom errors messages. All the, the cool thing that we can do, do it. Thank you for watching. I hope that you learned something new. See you in the next video.